traveling to cities and towns across the state to highlighting some of the people in places that make these communities great. Today we head to Boxborough where one man is leaving the office behind to head up his own hard cider business. It happens here in Boxborough at the junction of Route 2 and 495. It's the hometown of Boston Marathon legend Bill Rogers. Here they celebrate Pfeiffer's Day to honor a local Minuteman who is said to be one of the first wounded in the Revolutionary War. It is also the namesake of the most popular hard cider crafted by hand here at Pony Shack Cider Company. So this is our production facility where we make all of our hard cider. Tucked inside this small building is the center of Nate McKinley's obsession. I've never felt more comfortable uh, in my own skin than doing this. Nate started Pony Shack Cider in his garage seven years ago. About a year in, I realized that I think this thing has some wheels. People actually are responding well to this cider. People like it. So two years ago, he quit his job in financial services and made the leap, got out of the garage, and got to work. 100% fresh pressed local apples. Local apples are pressed and fermented and then canned all right here. So just take these off. Yep. This would take me like five hours yeah, to do. Cool. And as he showed me, the process is very hands-on and harder than it looks. That's no, not right. No, that one wouldn't make the cut. That's okay. Wouldn't make the cut. The labels designed by his sister-in-law are applied by hand, one by one. That's, That's awesome. Ready to go. Four pack ready for the shelf. But what's best about Pony Shack, says Nate, is the taste and the real secret to his sudden success. Cheers. Cheers. That is not what I would expect it to taste like at all. Right. It's not sweet like the cider you would think. It yeah. is, it's more like a sparkling wine, but it's really good and it's really cute. And they, they do a really good job of um, getting different flavors. You can yeah. see they have all these different flavors. They add local raspberries, they add local peaches. This is sort of a, um, a raspberry one. This is a sangria one. So it's, it's really cute. You can find them in 75 stores, mostly in the Metro West area. But they do also distribute on the Cape, and they do their own distribution. They hope to double that by next summer. But got to love the local stuff with the local apples. Oh, yeah. The local family. I love it. Well, I just love that he, he left his job. He was brave enough to leave a career in finance to make cider. He's got his sister-in-law helping him out. It's this great. This is 7% alcohol, so I'm not going to make you taste it on TV because okay. you might not make it through the show, <laughs> but maybe after the show. Take a little nap. Yeah, we're trying to tell a story from every community. If you have an idea, reach out to us on Facebook or send us a tweet at Kate Merrill or at Chris WVC.